Hi guys, this is Claudia from Yoga Fitness in Don Leri. In the last video, we did a nice warm up to start any kind of yoga class using the chair. In this video, we will continue and we will do the standing postures. Remember that you can use any chair that doesn't need to be a yoga chair. You can use any chair that you have at home. You can use your couch and even you can use your kitchen counter. Yeah, so we will start like we did, um, we left the other video, we were in this position, yeah, working on the relaxation and the opening on the legs. So what we will do next, we will put the hands on the chair and nice and comfy, we will relax the legs a little bit. We don't need to do a squat, yeah? we don't have to have the legs extended. And we put the arms on the chair, now, if you feel that this is too low, you can always use blocks or a bolster or pillows or whatever you have at home, yeah? So the idea is that you can relax completely on the chair, but you are still nice and standing on your heels, yeah? Your heels are connected. So if you feel that you have to separate the heel from the floor, that means that you need a support for your arms, yeah? So we will relax there, just surrendering into the chair, yeah? allowing yourself to relax, to let go. Yeah, imagine that you are releasing into the chair all your uh, tension, stiffness, discomfort, but also all the stress, the worries that we have with these times, all the fears. Yeah? So imagine that you take rest and comfort and support from the chair. In my classes, we always imagine the props that we use as a continuation of the support of the floor and the planet. Yes, so imagine that you are being supported by the whole planet. And just allow yourself to relax, to take comfort and to release. You can stay here as long as you like, yeah? So to come back, we will put the hands on the chair. We keep the knees a little bit bending and we will expand your spine. So we don't go up suddenly or sharp, yeah? We stay a little bit there, knees bending. Bone is out, so the hips are tilting up, out. That's really important. Shoulders away, chest nice and open. And if we can, we will put the hands on the chair and we will stretch nice and soft back. When we work on the stretch, we are not forcing, we are not tensing. We try to have the body soft to allow the muscles to really relax and expand. Yeah? So you follow the rhythm of your breathing to relax and the sensation of your body. So if there is no fight with your body when we do a stretch. It's just being there, present with yourself, with your body, and listen to your body as you do the stretch. Now we will put the hands on the chair, we will look up, bend the legs, we try to bring the weight of your body on the legs, so when you go up you are not using the lower back, yeah? so we expand up, and we will start to work on a little bit of shoulder here, yeah? so relax your shoulders, back and down. At the same time, we try to spread your toes, yeah? so really nice and con connecting with the mat, with the floor. Remember that we are not tensing the knees, okay? So the knees are not pulling back because this is really bad for your knees, yeah? So always soft, we don't have to bend, just relax the knees, yeah? And connect, yeah? So imagine that we are still that we don't finish on the feet. Imagine that we are really connected with the planet like we did on the warming up. Imagine those roots connecting us deeply into the, the Mother Earth, yeah, the planet. And imagine that we receive all the energy that we need badly in these difficult times that we are passing. Yeah? 
So imagine that we receive that energy and we are allowing with our body, with our movement to receive that energy and that energy to pass to every single part of your body. Yes? So we'll stretch again without tensing, without forcing, without fighting with yourself. Yeah? And when we go to the side, we expand. Remember, not force, not tense. Yes, so with oh, nice and soft. Soften the knees. Allow your breathing to go deeply but soft. We never force the breathing. And then we go to the other side, expanding. Open. No forcing at all. And then one more time up, expanding. And then we relax, we release. Yeah. So we will face the chair now. And we will put one leg forward and one leg back. Nice and comfy. Again, the knees are not blocked. Yeah? And we take a nice deep breath, expanding, lengthening. Again, not tensing. Spread open. And we will take a nice breath. We will put the hands on the chair. And we will move the hips again out. Yeah? Checking open the chest, shoulders away. And from there, we will catch the top of the chair if it's possible. If you are afraid here, we can always put one hand, do it with one arm, and then the other arm. Yeah? And if you can, with both, to allow your spine to lengthen. Now, the, remember, the legs are not tensing. You can even bend the legs, but don't go toward the chair. You pull back, not forcing. Very nice. Soften shoulders, soften chest. We put the hands on the chair. We look up. We will put one hand on the center, the right hand on the hip, and we will rotate. This in the normal class is called revolt triangle, but like we have the chair is nice and easy. Shoulders away, we never force. We try to rotate the spine, shoulders away. We rotate the neck. And then you check if we can lift in this arm up. Now, we are not forcing. Soft. And we open the chest. Relax your shoulders. Yeah, breathing deeply. Spread. And then relax. We put the other hand. Now, we will open the foot to the other side. We open from the hip. We open chest. We open the neck and we go with the other arm, expanding. Breathing deeply again. We are not tensing the legs. Remember, keep the knees soft, shoulders away. So we are not forcing with the arms. We are expanding with your breathing. And then coming back, we put the hands on the front. We look up. Spreading your spine, shoulders away. Remember again the hips back and the and out. Yeah? Now we will trust in our body here and we will press with your hips and your legs toward the floor, lifting your chest and your head all at once, trusting on that support, trusting on your body, expanding, breathing deeply, open, expand, ah, then relax, release. Now we will go to the other leg. Yeah? So, nice and comfy again. Open, breathe deeply, expand. Take your time. Remember, not push your legs, your knees. Yeah? You connect with the floor. We use, imagine that when you breathe in, you are absorbing the energy from those roots to move along your body. And then we open. As we put the hands on the chair, remember, we tilt the hips out to have a nice connection a nice position for your lower back. The legs extending if it's possible, but remember not to block the knees soft. If you need to bend, you bend. Open chest, we put the hands, and we relax, soften. Remember, you can always use one arm if you need. Yeah? Spread, relax, soften. And then we put the hands on the chair, we look up, open, expand. We put again the opposite hand of the leg, the other hand on the hip, we rotate. Imagine that you rotate the spine, the neck, the head, shoulders not tensing, 
away from your ears. And then you let this arm go wherever feels okay for the shoulder blade. So it doesn't matter if you don't arrive right up and the arm is soft. You can even have the arm here on the front. And then with your chest, with your spine, with your grounding, we expand. And then coming back, we will put the other hand on the seat. We open the back leg yeah, in a normal triangle, nice and soft because we have the chair. We open, we rotate. Check that your shoulders are away from your ears. Spread again. So we are not forcing the shoulder blade. The shoulder blade is like a flat. And then we open with your chest, with your spine. Allowing your body to breathe. Coming back to the center. We look up, expand, open chest. And then again, we trust in ourselves, in the support. We push into the feet, lifting chest, lifting, expanding. Open solar plexus, open chest, spread. Breathe. And imagine that every breath that you are taking, you are absorbing the energy that is passing along your whole self, exchanging that energy and release. Well, now we will do the last stretch in this part. We will rotate the chair. Yeah. And with this way, it's much easier. So we will catch the the top of the chair, we go back again. Again, the knees are bending, but not in a squat, yeah? Bum out, so hips out. Imagine that you are in a Zumba class, yeah? So we move a little bit your bum, relax your chest, relax your shoulders, spread, expand, yeah? Softening, relax. This is the same feeling and position on the upper body that we have on the downward facing dog, okay? So the chest is open. Now the head in this position, don't bring the head down because that will lift in the shoulders, yeah? And we want to relax, yeah? So keep the head around beneath, no, sorry, beneath, beside your arms, yeah? And soften, 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 soften. Also, you can do breathing up. Breathe out, back, 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 back. Breathe in, open. Breathe out, back. Well done, one more time. Breathe in, open. Ah, breathe out, back. Well done. And then slowly to come back in this position, we can round a little bit as you walk forward. We expand. And, ah. Will feel much better your back. You will be really grateful to have done this exercise. So I leave you here and we will do in the next session, in the next video, we will sit on the chair and we will do a really nice, lovely stretchings and openings with your breathing, yeah, for your chest, for your solar plexus, for your arms. Yeah. So see you later. Allow me to catch my little thing here. So see you later.